This is Labor, a prototyping station made for anyone looking to design their own synthesizer circuits from scratch. It comes equipped with everything you need to set up and test your ideas. A built-in dual power supply providing your rack compatible voltages with short circuit protection for safe experimenting. A modular interfacing section with 16 slots for potentiometers, jack sockets and switches. A pulse, triangle and sine wave oscillator that works both in the audio and the LFO range. A multi-mode envelope generator controlled by a mechanical push button. A buffered variable control voltage source. An output amplifier with variable gain. A dedicated headphone output and a line level output for recording, processing or analyzing the signal. And an expansion slot for installing specialized prototyping tools. You can get it as a partial DIY kit in two different configurations, either as the basic version, which includes the device itself, a bag of jumper cables, and an array of interfacing elements like potentiometers, jack sockets, and switches, or as the full version, which adds a whole suite of extra components like resistors, capacitors, chips, and transistors that are commonly used in DIY synth circuits. That way, you can start building right away without having to source components yourself. To see how prototyping with Labor works, let's set up a simple transistor-based VCA. We'll first need to hook up the power supply to the breadboard. For that, we simply connect the power header to the breadboard's power rails using the included jumper cables. That breadboard is a high-quality busboard BB830 model, by the way because there's nothing more frustrating than working with a cheap, unreliable breadboard. Next, let's set up the VCA itself. It uses just five components, a generic NPN transistor, a one microfarads capacitor, a 33K and a 100K resistor, and a standard small signal diode. All of these components are included in the full labor kit. Finally, we need both an audio signal to feed into the VCA and a control voltage to open it up. Normally, I'd use external gear here, but with Labor, we can save ourselves the headache. For the audio input, we'll simply grab the integrated oscillator. And for the control voltage, we'll use the envelope generator. To listen to the VCA's output, we'll also need to amplify it. No need to set up additional circuitry for this, though. With Labor, we can simply take the VCA's output and send it to the integrated amplifier. Let's flip the power switch and... Oh, looks like I created a short circuit somewhere. Thankfully, the power supply detected this and refused to turn on because of it. After fixing the short, it will turn on as expected. Since Labor's envelope generator is controlled by this mechanical push button, I can now press it to open our VCA. You'll notice that the VCA's output sounds nothing like the sine wave that I'm feeding into it. Let's have a closer look using the oscilloscope expansion module. Yeah, that looks more like a pulse wave than a sine, but that's just par for the course with this simple VCA. For something more sophisticated, I'd recommend that you check out our DIY VCA kit, which, like all of our other DIY kits, is fully compatible with Labor. If you're interested in getting one, Labor is now available in the Erica Synths webshop. There is a link in the description. Anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time. See ya.